Greeting everybody. Welcome to Francis M channel. Well, today the movie I am going to describe for you guys is Wonder Woman 1984. It is a popular movie. So, let's get it started. As a young girl, Diana Prince compete in a multiple state athletic comp competition on Themyscira against all the Amazon. After falling from her horse and taking a shortcut, she is disqualified. Diana's mother, Queen Hippolyta, and her aunt Antiope, lecture, lecture her on the importance of truth. In 1984, decades after the events of World War One, Diana works as a senior anthropologist at the Smithsonian Institute in Washington DC specializing in the culture of ancient Mediterranean civilization Diana continues to fight crime as Wonder Woman albeit while maintaining some anonymity Diana meets a new co-worker Barbara and Minerva an insecure woman who idolizes and invites Diana for her beauty and confidence and tries to befriend her. After Wonder Woman foils an attempt robbery, the FBI asks Barbara to identify a court of stolen antiquity, including the Dreamstone. Aspiring businessman Maxwell Lord visits the Smithsonian in search of a mystery Dreamstone which seemingly, seemingly grants wishes upon contact with any user, user. Both Diana and Barbara unknowingly use the stone to fulfill their own desire. Diana wishes for her deceased lover Steve Trevor to return causing his soul to take over another man's body. Barbara wishes to become strong and beautiful like Diana during a gala night at the Smithsonian Maxwell manipulate Barbara to acquire the stone. He wishes to become the embodiment of the stone and gain his power to grant wishes while also able to take whatever he desires in return. Maxwell becomes a powerful and influential figure. While leaving chaos and destruction in his wake, Barbara, Diana and Steve try to investigate the Dreamstone power further and discover that it was created by Dolos, the god of treasury and mischief. The stone grants a, us a user their wish but exacts a toll. The only way to reverse the, the chain is by renouncing the wish or destroying the stone itself. Steve realizes that his ex existence comes at the cost of Diana's power. Both Diana and Barbara are unwilling to renounce their wishes so they try to find alternative solution. Maxwell, upon learning from the US president of the satellite broadcast system that can transmit signal globally, decides to use it to grant wishes to the entire world. Barbara joins forces with Maxwell to prevent Diana from harming him. Steve convinces Diana to let go of him and renounce her wish, regaining her strength. She returns home and dons the armor of the legendary Amazon warrior Astria then heads to the broadcast station and battle Barbara who has made another wish to become an apex predator transforming her into a cheetah woman after defeating Barbara Diana confronts Maxwell and uses her lasso of truth to communicate with the world through him convincing everyone to renounce their wishes she also shows Maxwell a vision of his son Alistair, wandering the street as chaos ensues from his fulfillment of everyone's desires. Maxwell renounces his wish and to return home to reunite with his son. Sometime later, Diana meets the man whose body Steve was inhabiting while she continues to protect the world. In a mid credit scene, Astria is revealed to be alive and living among humanity in secret, much like Diana.
So that's it for the for the Wonder Woman 1984 movie, and I hope you guys like it. It this is it for my description about this movie. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Please help subscribe to my channel, and see you in the next video. Goodbye. Good luck.